Hi, I'm Lucy from Sew Essential and I'm here today to share my latest make with you. Everything I talk about today, the pattern, the fabric, everything else I used, it's all available on our lovely website. So do check out the links below and jump on and have a look at our patterns and fabrics. There's also a link below for our newsletter for a weekly dose of sewing inspiration straight to your inbox. So. I made this blouse, which is the True Bias Roscoe blouse, because I just absolutely loved this beautiful Pima cotton lawn that we had in stock. Um, I love the multiple colours on it. I'm going to give you a good look at it in a minute. Um, but I just wanted the perfect pattern to, um, to make this up in. I think when we're at this time of year, we're at the end of all these dull, dark grey days, you know, I really crave an injection of lovely, bright, bold colours to lift my mood and this Pima cotton lawn it's silky soft it's absolutely beautiful a Pima cotton lawn is like a higher quality cotton lawn it's due to the fibers um, of the cotton um, all the details are on the website I'll put the link below but it's just an absolutely gorgeous quality fabric and then this print and the colors on it I think one of the things I love the most is the combination of this purpley color with then the red almost poppy like flowers um, I just think it's a really gorgeous vibrant fabric um, so I'm just going to give you a bit of a twirl now so the pattern is the Roscoe blouse by True Bias and you've got the slits opening at the front uh, neck ties and then the neckline is gathered all the way from the front all the way along the back and then that's just um, finished with a binding in the same fabric um, it's a raglan sleeve so it's dead dead easy to sew this is a really really easy sew um, and then it's got these lovely sort of puff sleeves that are finished um, gathered into a cuff um, so it's a very sort of bohemian style blouse. I featured this in my spring trends video recently because um, I'm not sure if that'll have been released yet, but these bohemian blouses were everywhere and this ticks that trend perfectly. I'll just turn around so you can see the shape at the back with all that gathering as well. I just think it's really lovely. I'm going to untuck it so you can see the length. So it comes down to about hip um, length on me, I'm five foot six. Um, and one thing I will say, I'll tell you about the sizing and stuff in a minute, but I did grade it in slightly at the side seams to make it a slightly closer fit. It is an oversized fit, but because I wanted to tuck it into my jeans, I just tapered it in a little bit at the side seams and I'll talk to you more about that in the video. Um, but I'm really delighted with this blouse. I absolutely love this pattern. I love the fabric. Um, just such a quick, easy make and such a lovely mood boosting. We all need a bit of a mood boost at the moment, don't we? Things have been a bit bit grey and dark and um, it's nice just to have a bit of colour and something fresh to put on in your wardrobe. So the pattern is the Roscoe blouse and dress pattern by True Bias as I said. It runs up to a size 18 which is a 44 and a half bust, 38 and a half waist and a 46 and a half hip. I made the size 4 which is a 34 bust, 28 waist and 36 hip which is about bang on my measurements um, and it also comes with you can make as a knee length dress which has got that same sort of oversized loose fit and then it's finished with a wide ruffle panel hem and then there's also the option for a midi length dress finished with that same wide ruffle panel hem and the dresses look really nice and easy to just chuck on really easy to wear in the summer probably be great made up in a linen to go on holiday and chuck over your swimsuit when you're going to the beach that sort of thing um, but yeah I've got a lot a lot of love for this pattern so I'll pop links to the pattern and the fabric below for you on our website um, um, in terms of the sizing then I've told you that yeah I made a size 4 as I said I did take it in a bit at the side seams and all I did was I took it in an inch at um, where the hem was I took the side seam in an inch and then tapered that up to where the armhole was so it just reduced that width just as I got to the bottom of the blouse really um, I also did a high round back adjustment which I always do on all of my patterns because I've got a bit of curvature at the top of my back I'll try and remember 
to put the tutorial below for you how to do that. Um, because it's a raglan sleeve, I didn't bother doing my forward shoulder adjustment, I don't think. Um, I thought it would fit okay anyway, and it does. I'm really happy with that. Um, that's another one of the reasons why it's such an easy sew, because it's a raglan sleeve, so there's no setting in of sleeves to do. I literally made this blouse in like a handful of half an hour sittings. I did it like a, a few times, maybe three or four times. It probably took me a couple of hours to make. Maybe three or four times I sat down, just sewed for half an hour and that was it. It was done. It came together so quickly. Um, I think there's only five stages, five sort of key steps that you have to do. So you start by creating this V at the front. So well, it's not a V, it's like a a cut out or something, I don't know, it's a slash, you slash it and then you fold the uh, fabric back on itself if I remember rightly to, to finish the raw edges but you create that bit at the front, um, you attach your raglan sleeves and then it tells you to sew the underarm and side seams at that point however what I did was I did the neckline first because I wanted to try it on if you if you haven't done the neckline it's massive because obviously the neckline is gathered in so I couldn't really tell where it was going to sit on me so I decided to do the neckline first so that then I could work out how much I wanted to take off the side seams um, so that's just a little tip if you if you want to check sort of how how much volume there is and you want to tuck it into trousers like I did but yeah you sew the underarm seam and side seam in one which is really nice and easy um, and then you sew the gathers around the neckline they are just um, covered with a binding which you can stitch in the ditch to secure or if you want a really high-end finish you could hand sew that um, obviously you sew your little neckties as well um, and then you just do a gathering stitch at the hem of the sleeve and um, Oh, just spotted a loose thread there need to snip that off um, and just finish that with a little narrow cuff and it was just so so easy to do I'd really recommend this pattern to anybody who just wants a bit of a palette cleanser just something to sew that's not going to take too much brain power but it's going to be enjoyable it's got enough different sort of steps in it that it's an interesting sew still and a fun sew still um, and just as I said a great way to just get something new in your wardrobe to just lift your mood um, and add a bit of beautiful colour. We've got plenty of this fabric in stock, I've ordered more in um, so I'll pop the links to that below. So really and truly I think that's it, I think it's just a massive thumbs up from me. I love True Bias anyway, I love that brand, I love their patterns, I've made Oh, three or four of her patterns I think now and I've always loved them the instructions are good um, I love her design her aesthetic um, I just think she's a real like cool girl of indie patterns to me I think she's just got impeccable style and taste um, and the fabric is beautiful I can't recommend that highly enough um, so yeah just jump onto the website check it out and um, if you like what you see today please like and subscribe and I'll look forward to seeing you next time.